and there was nobody in front of her. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Feeling All Right with Buck and Chuck, our big New Year's Eve extravaganza. And today we have in the studio everybody. We got Pablo, we got Chuck, you got Buck, and our interesting yet efficient videographer, Alberto. Buck, bite me. I'm sorry, I'm just in no mood for it today, so this is going to be a very, ser very serious show. Oh, hell, I'm going home then. There'll be no levity. Well, at least I finally get to do one right. Hello, folks. Welcome. I'm suffering from a little uh, pre-New Year's Eve illness. Uh, but we want to get this show started right off with a song. We've got a special show for you today. Uh, no guests, but we're going to talk a little bit about the recent inductees to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and play a song by each of them. But before we get to that, I'm going to play a song that has great personal meaning for me, and it's called Going to the Chapel, and it's by the Dixie Cup. Back, folks, and I uh, hope everybody enjoyed that uh going to the chapel song. It does have special meaning for uh, Chuck and um, apparently he had a little bit better Christmas than some of the rest of us. You want to talk about that? Well, uh, Chuck is off the market Whoa. to uh, all of the millions of women that listen to this. I know that's going to impact two of you. But uh, yes, I was fortunate enough to uh, Pop the question, and the answer was in the affirmative. Terrific. So, uh, going to be getting married in the not too distant future. And that means the people at the Breeders' Cup can uh, probably lay off a few bartenders because there won't be that many uh, mayors out there looking. Well, uh, as you know, uh, my betrothed, my soon to be, uh, She's been known to take a drink, too. <laughs> How soon to be? Are we allowed to ask? I uh, don't know yet. Oh. don't know yet, but uh, in the end, pretty soon. Pretty soon. If uh, we can find a state that'll let us get married, <laughs> we're going to go for it. <laughs> and without the need of blood tests and all the rest of that rigmarole? Do you still have to do that? I don't know. <laughs> been so long, you're asking the wrong person. Probably uh, check with Alberto. He's probably the latest. Well, uh, that's my big news. Um, I do have some uh, more minor news, and that's that uh, I guess the reason I'm not feeling that well today is uh, from uh, your celebration, your birthday celebration the other night. Ah, yes, the big bus trip to Loma Linda's, and it was memorable. You know, you got me to go by telling me we were going in a limo. Then it turns out it's a guy, uh, boy, I almost swore. A gosh darn boss. And now it's back to limo. <laughs> You're still safe. It's limo. We downsized this morning. All right. Well, perfect. And I'm surprised you didn't remember that, that you were in a limo rather than a bus. You mean you downsized Monday. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what I said. Well, it was, a, it was a good time. First time I've set foot in Loma Linda's, and uh, my best guess is 25 years. Um, not much has changed. This place is still booming and uh, making money hand over fist. They never. They probably don't want you to say that. I'm sure. And uh, they never skipped a beat in this, quote, economy, unquote. Well, your view of this economy and mine are different. Anyway, so as I told you, we are, uh, we don't have much to talk about today live entertainment wise uh, although Buck will get to uh, the list and uh, as soon as he can get all the pages collated uh, but uh, about about uh, 10 days or two weeks ago the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as you know in Cleveland um, released the list of their inductees for 2010 and uh, they typically induct seven folks and uh, unfortunately Buck you and I came in eight and nine again so <laughs> maybe next year, but uh, I'm going to play. I've uh, picked out a song, and these are songs that I like. And aren't, wait a minute, aren't all <laughs> the songs we play what you like? 
Well, uh, unfortunately, listeners, that's to your advantage. Oh, by the way, you're listening to Feeling All Right with Buck and Chuck here on uh, PortClintonRadio.com, PuttonBayRadio.com, OakHarborRadio.com. Wait a minute, I'm getting a signal. And TommyJohnson.com. Radio. <laughs> <laughs> and our, and we're proudly brought to you by uh, Tommy Johnson. She's currently in Florida, and I'll just tell you a quick story. I spoke to her on the phone the other day. She wants to get together and uh, produce some no, some new ads for the show and uh, wishes them to be a little, and I quote, a little funnier than just that dry, white-headed man reading the stuff. So uh, we're going to do that when she gets back, but she uh, she's in the middle of seven consecutive days at Walt Disney World. Oh my goodness. She'll come back with big ears. Well, she, <laughs> she's got four or five grandkids down there, and she bought them all tickets for seven straight days. And I, well, she may not come back. <laughs> anyway, many thanks to Tommy for uh, having the uh, patience, foresight, and most importantly, wherewithal to sponsor us. Those electronic ankle bracelets, they'll, they'll reach all the way back here, won't they? <laughs> okay, well now that that business is out of the way, we're going to get into our list of the uh, newest inductees into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and we're going to start out with uh, not a local act, but a Detroit act, uh, Alice Cooper. And uh, this is a song I promise you you don't hear every day from Alice Cooper, and it's a ballad of all things, and a lovely and beautiful song. And I'm going to send this out to uh, the future Mrs. Halsey, and it's called You and Me, and it's by Alice Cooper. <laughs> 